Welcome to my kitchen. Today I bring you a recipe um, for those who love, bur uh, you know, hamburgers. This is a vegan recipe. It's really good, really easy, and you can pack it up and take it to a picnic, you know, or you can have it just a simple meal. And we're also going to make some guacamole. So uh, let's start with our dry ingredients. I have all my ingredients already measured. So we start with the oatmeal and the sesame seeds. The recipe will be on the screen. And then walnuts. So we mix these together. You can do it with your hands. You can do it with whatever you want. Utensils. Okay. So you just mix all these together very well. Mm, walnuts and oatmeal and sesame seeds. All those are my favorite. So we'll put that aside. So you're going to have five cups of water boiling already. So I turned it down already because it was already boiling. And so you're going to put in there. I don't use uh, soy sauce. I use uh, aminos. Uh, it's sort of like um, it's a liquid aminos. It's sort of, sort of like uh, soy sauce. So you just... Dump it in there. Let's see. All this is, like I said, your, uh, the recipe will be on the screen. And the um, olive oil. And then I have my garlic and cayenne. And this is a chicken, well, imitation. Uh, no, not chicken. I mean, excuse me, onions. Uh, and you can see the box. It has two, two um, little packages inside. You can use those. So we put that in there, too. And then we add the onions. Really good for you. I know a lot of people don't like onions, but they don't know what they're missing. They have a lot of antibiotics. And I keep saying that in my previous shows, so that onions, it has a lot of antibiotics. So we're going to stir that up. I'm going to turn it up a little bit uh, more. And so we boil that for three minutes. In the meantime, the dab is going to be boiling. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know, keep uh, mixing these uh, three ingredients together. Oatmeal, it's really good. Has a lot of fiber, and so does the walnuts. Now that the, our pot is boiled for three minutes with all our, you know, wet I ingredients, we can add the dry ingredients into the pot. And we're just going to stir it in there. And we're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. 
Well, while we let this set, I'm going to make a guacamole. So I already went ahead of time and cut some of my avocados. And um, so very easy, you just scoop it up. And this is the challenge for me because the, you know, the uh, seed just stuck in there. So let's see. But I'll get it out somehow. And it's really easy to scoop it up. And I love avocado. I'll try and scoop as much as I can because I do not like to waste anything. So, so this is what you do. And um, I'll put this right here. And then we're going to smash it. Just so you can have a creamy, you see if I have, I might have to use a bigger, um, a bigger bowl because it's probably too small. I guess I didn't think it was gonna be too much. But you don't have to, you know, you don't have to smash it too much. It, that just depends on how you like it, how creamy you like it. Um, so, Okay, so once that is mashed, I have a half an onion and one tomato, and I have a little bit of cilantro, and I also have my um, salt. I like this uh, Himalaya pink salt. It's really delicious. It gives it more flavor, so. Okay, so we, we're going to add all that. So I'm just seeing that in my, I might have to change it to another bowl, but we'll see. I think I'm going to try and make it work. Mmm, it smells so good. I love this, the smell of onion and cilantro. Oh, it makes it so good. So we'll... We'll put the cilantro in there. There we go. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. It smells delicious. And cilantro, well, cilantro is really good too. I know some people don't like cilantro, but for me, it's just, it gives it an authentic flavor. And we'll add the tomato. Oh, you see those colors? Green and red. Those are my favorite colors. And um, I love chilies. I'm a big fan of chilies. I love chilies. So, and you add the, my hands are kind of sticky. So you just add however, you know, uh, that will be on your own taste. I like to, I like to put a little bit first and then, um, and then just go from there. But also you don't need a lot too because you have your chips, you know, that your chips will have uh, salt already. So you don't want too much sodium too because you know, it's not good too. Everything, even though it's good, but with moderation, it will be good. If we overdo it, it's not good. So, and then you have your guacamole. And if you're having a gathering, you know, um, you can just scoop it up and uh, put it there or either way. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so good. Mmm, mmm. It's really delicious. Mmm. One more tip. If you have your guacamole like that, 
and let's say you're having a gathering and the gathering is not until maybe an hour or two and you're preparing your guacamole ahead of time, you, I'm gonna give you a little secret that my mother gave it to me. I always thought, why is my mother's avocado never goes brown? Until I asked her, and I noticed as I was growing up, I noticed there were the guacamole, I mean the avocado seeds were inside, but I never, it never really dawned on me to ask my mom until I grew up and doing my cooking. I noticed my avocado was going brown. That's when my mom told me, if you put two seeds in there, you know, and let it sit and then wrap it up, put it in the fridge, the avocado, uh, the guacamole will never go brown. There's something about the seed that will protect from, uh, the guacamole from going brown. So we're gonna do that. And that's what I, I saved the seeds. And also the, uh, the avocado seeds are really good if you grind it up you can put it in different different foods and it's really good. So there you have it. There's your guacamole. So um, we'll be back to make the um, hamburgers. All right. Now that we are ready and it's ready to go, so we're gonna make the patties. We're done already the, the guacamole, so we'll move on with this. So you can have, you know, a cup, and this is what I use. You can make it different sizes you want. This is a uh, one third of a cup, and you just put them in there and kind of smash them. You know, it, they don't have to really be perfectly round. It will be nice though if they, you know, if they come out perfectly round, but if not, not to worry about it. So there you go. Oh, smells so good. And you can probably put, well, you're gonna put two. Um, I think I'd left a big gap in there. There we go. I think I'm gonna put two in there. You can kinda, of, you know, make it a little bit round, but since it's kind of a wet a little bit, it's a little hard to do that. Mmm, it smells so good. And it's really delicious. It's also really good for you. There we go. Oh, there. Mm. I think that's all I'm gonna put in this pan. Uh, I'll put some more in another pan. So you're gonna bake this at the 375 degrees for 15 minutes. And um, so that once the 15 minutes are done, then you flip them over another 15 minutes. So we'll be back. So I have already pre-made pre-bake and so this is how they're gonna look and so this is how you prepare it you can have any type of bread you want uh, you know uh, wheat whatever I am gonna have white bread this time and so we have our veganase for those who are allergic to eggs and dairy this is the best. Um, so you just scoop it up a little bit. Maybe my spatula is too big, but there we go. There. Mm. Maybe even though it's good, you know, we don't want too much in there too. 
And then we just put our, our, our patty in there. And then we have our, um, we have our tomato. And then we have our lettuce. You can put it in any order you want. We, uh, you know, I just put it in that order. And here you have your hamburger. You can add some chips to it, which, you know, I guess this didn't work like I thought. Then you have your guacamole. And there you have it, a lunch, a light lunch. You can carry that to a picnic, you know, or gathering, and any occasions. I hope you enjoy my cooking. See you next time. Bye.